epic <laughs> fail. <laughs> Welcome back, gorgeous mama. Are you wondering how to use essential oils in cooking as well as a fun, healthy, homemade Valentine idea? But you're always tired to think of these like fun, festive things because I don't know about you, but I get overwhelmed sometimes when the holidays come around. This is an incredibly simple way to make your kids feel very, very special. It will give you practical tips that ease the feelings of overwhelm when it comes to the holidays, give you that new hope from your extended family, me and this community. Hi, I'm Stephanie Cauldron, mom to two daughters ages 10 and 15, married for 17 years to my best friend, essential oil educator, and someone who's learned hands-on natural health tips and what has been sharing those over the past 15 years. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. We have a really special guest who is going to be helping us with this recipe of on guard heart shaved Valentine's pancakes. So we're gonna head to the kitchen with Eliana and we're gonna make these really fun pancakes that you can make for your kids on Valentine's morning or any time that you wanna make them feel super, super special. What are we making today, Eliana? Today we're making heart-shaped on guard pancakes. Hands washed? Yay! Let's get started then. First thing we're gonna do, mash two bananas. This recipe is from the doTERRA blog. We are making a few changes to make it a little bit healthier for my family. We don't do a lot of sugar, so we're making a little bit of substitutes for that. Uh, the recipe called for plain Greek yogurt. I only have vanilla, but we're just rolling with it. So we're gonna do three fourths cup Ours is the vanilla grape yogurt. So keep mashing away, Eliana. So this is one container. We're not quite there. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Two eggs. Make sure the shell's not in there. Oh, there's a shell. No, we didn't get a shell. We're good. Positive. I watched it. And then we're doing three fourths cup milk. We're using almond milk. I'm done mashing it, should I mix it? Yeah. And then one fourth cup oil. The recipe called for canola oil. We don't own canola oil, so I'm just using olive oil in ours. And we are doing one fourth cup of that. That's so neat. Okay, here we go, here's the oil. Keep stirring, stirring, stirring. You can use your store-bought vanilla. We're using Madagascar Vanilla Essential Oil from doTERRA. These are supplemental grade, you actually can take them internally. So we are going to just add a drop of mm, this. It smells good. And then it said three to four drops of On Guard. How many do you want? Four. Four? Okay, here we yeah, go. Yeah, just gonna get it. One, two, two three, three four. four. All right, so that's all stirred together. Yep, leave that spoon in there, that's fine. In this bowl, we're going to add one cup of oatmeal. One cup. Oops, and a little extra. As you can tell, I am not a professional cook or baker. And then one cup of flour. Okay. All right, go ahead and dump that. Um, and then it called for uh, brown sugar. We're gonna use this date syrup instead. I feel like this would be really, really good with kind of a molasses-y flavor that we're going to have with the On Guard. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. Smells good. Interesting. Two teaspoons. And then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm also a very messy baker, as you can tell. <laughs> Got it all over me already. Why are we adding um, salt? Um, it kind of pops up the flavor. Then we're doing one Ooh. drop of cinnamon essential oil. Mmm, that also smells good. This all smells super good. <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna start adding this to it while you mix. So keep mixing, keep mixing, keep mixing. You know what this smells like? What? It smells like the Christmas smell. Like that it smells scent. like Christmas smell yeah, because you're smelling the On Guard. Okay, you wanna yeah. mix it? Yeah. Mix it all around. It smells good though. So to make them heart shaped, if you have a heart shaped mold, that you can use that. Or I saw a hack where you can make a mold with foil, or you can also put it into like a squeeze bottle. This is a heated griddle that has a little bit of oil. So this is a little thick coming out of this squeeze bottle. Careful, don't It's coming out the sides. So we'll put it like this. There we go, it kind of looks like one. It looks like a very, very giant heart. Maybe I have a knife and I was gonna kind of like 
define it a little bit more. So maybe it would be better if you had a mold to do this with. That's good though. You wanna try making it? I'll try. <laughs> Epic <laughs> fail. <laughs> You're not quite ready. What about that one? Here, can I try? Sign. No, flatten it. Yeah, here. Wow, that's surprisingly really good. Surprisingly? What are you saying? <laughs> okay, ready? So they are finished. We didn't make perfect tarts, but here they are. You can add yeah. nuts to the top, blueberries, chocolate chips, whatever you want. I love it. Mm. That ombre adds like a zing to it, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We hope you love joining us for this Valentine's cooking adventure with essential oils. These heart-shaped on guard pancakes are a great way to start your Valentine's Day and a fun essential oil recipe to try with your kids. If you try this at home, let us know how it goes in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun recipes and homemade Valentine's ideas. Thanks for joining me today. Together we can make this journey of parenthood a little more informed and a lot more rewarding. You've got this, Mama. As promised, you can download your free copy of the Kids Safe Essential Oil List. You can find the link in the description below and pinned in the comments. Go snag it now so you have this amazing free resource at your fingertips. Keep spreading love and wellness. Bye-bye.